Hi, welcome back to Sea Wanderers Training. Today we're talking about assessments and uh, how to create scoring for assessments in the Sea Wanderers platform. So we're going to dive right into the platform and actually just show you how it works. Very simple process. So here we are in our uh, uh, platform and we're in the assessments tab, but I also wanted to show you this first. Of course, we add assessment templates um, during deployment or you can add them at any time. These are the uh, templates that are in here. And these templates have been pre-configured either by you, you can customize your own assessment or you can use one of our pre-configured templates. And of course you can add at any time from our central repository here. And when we build these out, we actually score the questions. So um, you can weigh in and build that scoring according to your own uh, risk management protocols. And so we'll add that scoring into the questions. And then once the questions are answered, the, uh, the scoring will auto create. So we're going to show you how that works. So you've got a couple of different examples here that we're going to show you. So uh, this is a completed assessment. You see all of the answers have been populated. We've uh, 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 auto created the findings. And then you see side by side along here, you have the scores, the risk score for each of these different questions where there is an issue. OK, so if I go to the details section then you can see how that's actually then built out. So we provide the number of questions, uh, the maximum score. So that's all of the risk scores added up, obviously. Um, any findings that are then created once the assessment has been completed. And then we basically create the answer score and the risk score, which is uh, basically done on a formula, which is the answer score divided by the maximum score. And, and we work with you there uh, to make sure that this maps to your own um, risk protocol so that you know whether this uh, 3.7 is a low risk, medium risk, high risk, so on and so forth. And uh, you can actually attach your risk uh, formulas here so that um, anybody just looking at this can see this and know what this means. OK, so that's very much how we do it. So we've got another assessment here just to kind of give you that idea again. So once you come in, this one's just been submitted. Um, as you're looking at the results, again, uh, the actual answers, uh, the scores populate when there is an issue generally, because uh, a score generally means there is a risk, of course, um, zero being no risk. And so we don't show anything and those uh, will keep going on. So this is an example for a, of a CMMC readiness assessment. So note that this is actually is scored according to the DOD formula. Um, which provides different levels of scoring uh, for each answer that is uh, for each answer. So, so very simple to do that here. We set it up for you in advance. Um, so when you're building out your assessment templates, you can contact us at support at c1risk.com and we'll make sure we build all of those metrics in for you. Okay, thanks very much. That concludes our training for today.